Hey guys, I have a product review for you today. What we have is the Teslong Rigid Rifle Borescope. Let's open up the box here and it comes with a magnetic closure box to keep it stored in. Open it up, you have your Rigid Borescope, which is 26 inches long. Has this uh, foam protective tube on there. Also a little cap that goes on the end to protect both the camera and the LED lights that are on the end of this. On the rod of the borescope you will see some measurements. It starts at 2 inches and goes all the way to 26 inches doesn't look look like it's showing up very well on my camera but they are there and then there's a uh, hash mark every quarter inch there's also this little cone shaped rubber piece here so let's say you find a uh, problem area in your barrel you once you find it you kinda hold it in place slide this piece up against the end of your barrel and it is rubberized so it's not going to damage uh, the crown of your barrel and then you can take care of whatever the issue is rust uh, carbon buildup uh, copper whatever the, the problem is and then once you take care of it this uh, will tell you where exactly how you know how far into the barrel it is so you just reinsert it to that spot and see if you resolve the issue. You have a four and a half inch monitor. There's a bag with some parts in it. You have your USB charging cable. Comes with a little uh, like a kickstand for the monitor and three different mirrors. And of course you have your user's manual or user's guide it's very easy to read thorough I had no problem understanding it or uh, being able to use it to learn how this functions you also have two separate cables this cable is to be used with the uh, monitor that it comes with and this cable here is to be used for a uh, tablet, a laptop, a PC. Now I'm not going to be able to show you how this works with a laptop. Um, I attempted to <laughs> plug this into my laptop but it's almost 15 years old and it doesn't have the I guess the modern technology to be able to be used with this borescope. So let's take a closer look at this monitor. Like I had previously mentioned this has a four and a half inch screen. Right here you have a rubber cover if you pull that back you will see a USB port on the right side and that is for charging. As it's charging that red light will flash and when it's done charging it stops flashing. And then the left side you have the SD memory card and it comes with a 32 gigabyte card. I'm not sure if you can upgrade that to a larger card or not. I couldn't find any information on that. But uh, the 32 gig card that it comes with should be plenty for taking videos and photos of your bore. Over here is where you plug in the camera. That is a USB-C cable and if you notice here it has a groove on either side so you can plug it in doesn't matter which way it fits both ways and then those grooves actually locks it into place you'll hear it click when you when it goes all the way in hear that click and then now it's locked into place you can't pull it out there's a silver button on the back here. You have to press that in to be able to remove this cable. Okay, to uh, connect the camera. 
plug that in back in here you have the bore scope now on here you will see a red dot and then underneath here if you can see that but there is a uh, a line that kind of protrudes on the inside of there you line that red dot up with this groove in the top of the bore scope and that uh, protrusion on the inside here slides right into it put that together and then twist this and that locks the bore scope onto the cable turn this on again hold and press it for a couple of seconds now this when you turn it on it has a, a light on it and the light automatically turns on to high you have your six LED lights now to control the light level there's this button right here on the top right if you press that once it goes to medium another time it goes to low and a third time it will turn off so there's three different brightnesses here you see a picture of a camera the upper left hand corner right here you see a picture of a camera in the upper left hand corner of the, the screen that is for taking photos so if I was to press this camera button here it will take a photo and then you hear the the shutter go off now if you press the M button which is mode one time you will see the little video camera icon pop up there in, in the upper left hand corner now if you press the camera button again it will start recording video okay then you will see in the lower left hand corner there's you'll see the the readout of the time that the camera is recording press that camera button once more and it will stop recording okay once you stop recording if you hit the mode button one more time you will see this little icon show up and that's where you can view your videos or pictures and then if you use the up and down arrows you can toggle through the the different videos and pictures that have been taken if you wanted to transfer the photo and video files from the monitor here onto your computer there's two ways you can do that simply open up this rubber cover you can either remove the the memory card and plug it into a card reader and transfer it that way or you can simply plug in your charging cable into the uh, USB port here you want to make sure that the monitor is turned on plug this into your computer and you will be able to, to uh, retrieve the files that way you simply just uh, click you know drag and drop into whatever file you want to put them in on your computer it's very simple right here you have your settings button you press that and you can set the resolution to your camera uh, you can set up a date stamp and you can turn the shutter sound on and off now if you press the uh, settings button one more time you can go through the other settings like you can turn on the auto power turn off so if you say you wanted to do that you press ok and then you have off five minutes ten minutes so you use the up and down arrows to toggle through those then once you choose what you want you press OK and it saves your setting and takes you back to the menu then you use the up and down arrows to toggle through these different uh, items that are on the list there so you can you know set your time and date um, set the language you need and all the other stuff alright I have a uh, 
test subject here. I believe I've taken this on two separate range trips since the last time I cleaned it so there's no telling what I'm going to find in here. Um, there is that kickstand that I had mentioned that is uh, that comes with the kit for the monitor. Gives you a nice uh, support to see it in front of you. But anyway, let's uh, check the inside of the the barrel of this gun. Turn this on. Switch it over to video. Hit record. Okay, now we're recording. All right. See what we find. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. We're not cleaning it the last two range trips. All right, well, I'm going to put one of the, the side view mirrors on it and uh, see if we can get a closer look at that barrel. Okay, I put one of the mirrors on it and uh, with these mirrors depending on the caliber will determine on how far down the uh, the threads that you put put the mirror. So the smaller caliber you use the farther out you want it for, to the end of the threads. Larger the caliber of course is just the opposite down farther on the threads. Well, this uh, gun I'm looking at now is a 9mm so I have it a little bit farther than halfway down the threads. So let's take a look inside that barrel. seeing some copper fouling in there but no real problems I don't see any rust yeah I'll have to uh, get my copper remover out and hit this barrel with it give it a treatment but yeah not bad at all pretty heavy there but okay okay so there it is the Teslong rigid rifle bore scope and in case you're wondering this is model number NTG 450H if you guys are interested in checking this out I'll put a link to where you can find it down below thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later